Welcome to Speed Round Sunday on the Parenting Roundabout podcast, where we share a mini episode from our past for your weekend listening pleasure. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new episode. On today's speed round is when we call out our husbands for (laughs) wearing things until they completely fall apart. Uh, Because one of us was wondering if her spouse was the only one that did this. And I'm here to say that my husband is in this club. (laughs) I'm very glad to hear that. I was the one who was wondering about it. And my, uh, my husband hasn't been working this summer. He's been home a lot. And I'm noticing just how much some of his clothing is dis- disintegrating and how very, very proud he is of it. <laughs> you know? And when I make comments, he just laughs. And I did finally tell him that if he didn't get new slippers, I was going to disappear the ones he had and buy him new ones for Father's Day. So he did get new slippers because they were flapping, you know, uh-huh. so the, the bottom sole was yeah. basically off. And, but, you know, just, I, I look at him and I think, your mother would not have stood for this. Your mother is somewhere thinking, why doesn't his wife take care of him? It's always your fault. It's always my fault. <laughs> so it's like I really have thought a number of times about just going through his drawers and his closet and just taking things and making them go away. <laughs> but I don't feel right about that. But at the same point, oh, my gosh, there's like like holes in things where they just worn through. <laughs> it looks like he's, as one sure it looks like he was stabbed because there's like a sideways slit. Oh, so tell me, make me feel better, Catherine. Tell me about your, your husband's tattered oh, garments. Oh, yeah. I mean, tattered is the word. Like, <laughs> so this is a guy thing then. I think it is. I mean, because I'll say like, oh, my gosh, throw that away. It's so comfortable. <laughs> no one's going to see me. Like, okay, fine. Yes, that's, that's what I get to. I just wear it around right. the house. And, but here's a funny story about <laughs> flapping shoes. So when we were in Iceland, I took this old pair of shoes that I have of, of running shoes. And um, one day, the, the soles started to just flap off the bottom. <laughs> Uh huh. Um, and so to the point where they just fell off, you know, because I had it, I was yeah. out and about, like I couldn't just take them off. So, um, they, I just had to wear them flapping for a short period of time. And then, um, and then I, I then I wore them without the flaps. Like they still had some soul left to them. <laughs> so yeah. we were going whale watching and I wanted shoes that I didn't care if they got wet. So I kept them for the whale watching. And then I was like, well, I'm not taking these home with me. I don't need to kick them. I'm just going to get rid of them. Right. So I left them in the <laughs> hotel room. Um, Near uh-huh. the trash can, but not in the trash can because the trash can was not big yeah. enough for them. And then later that day, the choir director was like, oh, who was in room blah, blah, blah at the hotel? I said, oh, that was us. Well, here they found these. <laughs> they gave me back my shoes that I tried to throw away. <laughs> oh, no. So then I had to throw them in the trash at a gas station <laughs> to get rid of them. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> So you can try, oh, but you sometimes won't yeah. succeed. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> How about you, Nicole? Do you does your husband participate in this hobby? <laughs> yeah, he's not only a member of the club; he's the president of the club. <laughs> 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 he is atrocious. He will hang on to shirts because oh, they're dear. soft and they're not itchy <laughs> and they're comfortable. Yeah. Until there's, they're literally like, I mean, my husband had one t shirt, literally, it was torn from the neck all the way down and around the stomach and under the arm. Like torn, like the big gaping hole. Like losing molecular cohesion <laughs> yeah. and you're still trying to wear it. Like, I can't tell you how many times um, I've gone to throw out clothes that are ripped and torn. And I don't know how they get that way. But I mean, obviously, some of them are super old, so they're just disintegrating. 
But he's like, no, you can't throw that out. <laughs> we can fix it. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> We can make it stronger. We can, we can fix this five dollar t shirt yes. so that it can live another oh, day. I, know, I said right? I said to my husband, it's like, you know, we we can afford new underwear for you. Just go buy yourself some new underwear, honey. And he's like, I have new underwear. I just prefer to wear this. <laughs> oh, Better yet. He's terrible. And he's certainly not one of these men that um you know, are fashion forward and yes. <laughs> Or, you know, have the latest and greatest of everything and always look put together. I love him dearly, but clothes are not his forte. <laughs> probably just as well. We would probably complain about that, too. Yeah, but would. it's just there has there, there's a line, you know, yeah. once, once the garment crosses that line. Yes. You know, you yes. want to put it in once a box. the holes are bigger than the actual shirt. Yes, okay, exactly. You know what? Actually, I can't complain because I have a little confession to make. I have a <laughs> nightgown. That is at least 25 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and I refuse to throw it away. <laughs> but do you still wear it? Um, well, no, because it's disintegrating. <laughs> See, I think this is the difference. Because I also have elderly garments that I have not thrown away that I keep for, you know, nostalgia purposes. I have a, a sentimental attachment to them. But... Yeah, I did have a I did have a nightgown that I wore until it pretty much fell apart. But mostly, I just have them in the back of my closet, and every now and then I say, "Oh, I remember that." Remember that. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't feel the need to put it on <laughs> <laughs> and wear it around the house. Right. <laughs> oh boy. Well, with those confessions under our belts, yes. we'll say that's and- it. What were you going to say, Terry? <laughs> and and we love our husbands. Yes, yes We yes. mean no disrespect by <laughs> it's not telling they them they haven't heard ridiculous. before. Let's just put <laughs> well, it that's in. That's true. <laughs> that's true. I think it's pretty safe. The secret is out. 